Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, your go-to spot for all things SAP. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a bit. Today, we've got something really special lined up in our ABAP series. Want to get loud down on parameters in ABAP? You've come to the right place. Embrace yourselves because we've got an incredible guest for our upcoming videos. Meet Ladislav, a senior ABAP developer. He will be taking the reins to guide you through the intricacies of parameters. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you won't miss out. More info on Ladislav in the description below. See you soon. In this session, we will talk about how to define user-friendly text on the selection screen. Because right now we just see the technical names of our parameters, p underscore tab ns, p underscore tab sh, and so on. We want to change those technical names into humanly readable texts so that our users can see and understand what this parameter really contains. Let's take a look into SAP code. When we are in SAP code area in SE38, there is a place in the menu called text elements right here, or you can find the same feature in go to main menu and text elements or simply pressing F5 on your keyboard. Once we click on ABAP text elements, we see empty screen because we are inside of text symbols. However, what we are looking right now, we are looking for selection text. Let's click on selection text. Inside of this screen, we see the names of all of our parameters that we have defined in our program. So right now we have two options, either for each and every parameter we define a text or if it's enabled, we can check those checkboxes to predefine our parameter names directly from data dictionary. What's, what this is going to do is that this is going to take the name from the data element. Let's take a look at this. We are back in SE11 in transparent table DD02L and let's take a look on the data element tab name. Let's double click on tab name. We can see here four versions of the field label for, for the data element. So there is a short field label, medium, long, and heading. Depending on the length, SAP decides which version is going to be displayed. So right now we have like two, two versions, literally like table and table name depending if it's really short text available in and on the screen in SAP or rest of them will be table names. So if we will try to activate this code, SAP immediately puts the text from the text element directly inside. Since it doesn't make that much sense for us to use data dictionary references inside of our program, we will just remove that and change the names manually to the following ones. So for ptab obl, we are going to put a parameter with obligatory value, ptab val, parameter with default value, ptab ns with parameter with no search help, and ptab sh, parameter with search help. Let's activate these texts. Let's go back to the code, press F8 to execute this code, and suddenly we are able to see the names we defined in a text elements instead of technical names from our ABA program. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to give us a feedback on this series and tell us if you like the concept. See you soon for our next episode.